audience is excited. We have Jenny here from Science Alive, and she's going to be making edible experiments. I just love that. Yeah. Edible experiments. Edible experiments. Yeah. We're going to do sherbet first. It's a really easy one. You should be able to get everything in the cupboard, but if you can't, then one of the ingredients you'll be able to get at the supermarket for sure. Okay? Cool. So we're going to start it off. We're going to do it in a bag because it's a little less messy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add one tablespoon of baking soda in there. Nice. Now that is the base. That's going to help cause this chemical reaction when we eat it in our mouths. Then we're going to have three tablespoons of citric acid. That's the acid that's going to react with the base. And that basically tastes like lemon. Yeah. yeah. Citric acid is basically the acid from lemons. Nice. And then we're going to be really careful. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. bit of spillage. Get it all. Icing sugar. So seven tablespoons of that. Mm -hmm. To make it nice and sweet, otherwise it'll be a wee bit sour. Then we close the close bag. Close the bag. You want to shake it up for me? Okay. <laughs> I'll try not to stop this part up. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy. And yeah, you are right. All these ingredients you'd probably find in your own pantry at home. Definitely. Okay. That's the idea. Any technique or just shake? Just it shake it all up. All right. So. <laughs> okay. Now you guys can give it a try. We made some okay. over here. Oh, this is already made. Okay, yep, crew. All made up. You guys keen for a bit of sherbet? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I can see it. So, get you to put your hands out, and I'll do that. There we. Oh, I'll get you to put your palm out like that, buddy. Brilliant. And who else? Just checking you out. Yeah. There we go. Can you guys show the camera? How is that? At home? What does it feel like? Good? Yeah? yeah. It's fizzing in your mouth? Nice. Yeah. All right. I can feel the f So what is, that's the chemical reaction exactly. you're talking about? So the chemicals are inert while they're dry, so they stay together, um, mixed together, but they don't actually have the chemical reaction until we add the liquid. So I'm going to quickly show you over mm -hmm. here. I'll move these to you. Over here with our little test tube. Yep. How that reaction's actually happening in your mouth. Now this is a little different. This is not the edible version. We've got okay. some soap, so don't do not do this one at home with, and eat it. We've got some vinegar. Now that is an acid, okay? It's just a liquid acid. It's just like citric acid, but a wee bit stronger. Then we're gonna check a little bit of dishwashing liquid. This is gonna make it bubble a bit, Ooh. make it a bit more exciting. And then we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring. Okay. All right. Right, so they're inert, just like they are before you put it in your mouth. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chuck a whole bunch of baking soda in here. So we're basically putting all the ingredients in here as we're making it. Yep, and I'm going to just pour it in because... <gasps> there so we go. That's, that's the reaction. That's oh, the taste reaction. Happening in our mouth. Exactly, with a little less soap in it. And a little less blueness. Yeah. <laughs> That's, more exciting. That is so cool. I mean, you have got to love the fact that you can, um, you know, make the sherbet at home. And everyone loves sherbet, Exactly. Right? It's delicious. What now? What now? What now? Sundays from 8 a.m. On 2.